We're at Highland Hill Farm and I have a contractor here today in order to start working on our buildings which as you can see needs some work. There was a fire in that one. We're getting ready to put a new roof on this barn. And the contractor shows up in one of the oldest work trucks I've ever seen in Bucks County. My name is Mark and I'm from River Valley Contractors and uh, this is a 51 Chevy pickup rat rod. Uh, this little emblem here is one of the herd that didn't make it through the winter, but uh, being a rat rod, it's actually got a 98 Dodge Dakota motor trans rear and chassis underneath the uh, skin here, so it uh, may look like hell, but it runs like a rape tape. And uh, we're going to be uh, trying to restore this uh, fire damaged building. I'm uh, currently on the Historic Architectural Review Board in, in New Hope, Pennsylvania. I've been one of the members for the last 15 years. I own two buildings that are over 200 years old currently, and so we're very sympathetic to the older buildings. We'll try to restore this to its original beauty. It uh, will be a, a very interesting challenge, but in the end, I think it's going to be a very satisfying result. So um, Bill's been very generous in regards to uh, trying to give us a little prep here and uh, give us an advertisement. People probably wonder what's going on in the cage here. Well, the neighborhood kids like to go for ice cream at night and they're not supposed to ride in the back of the truck and there's not enough room for the uh, ball of them in the front of the truck. As you can see, there's Rat Fink zip tied to the dashboard. So uh, we put these kids right in the back of the cage here and uh, down the, the road they go and they really like their ice cream. So um, sometimes they're a little intrepid about getting in the back. So we usually put their moms in the back too. And so it's quite the little scene riding down the highway. <laughs> So if you guys uh, need any restoration,